I'll do a speedy introduction. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome today to the pilot program. Uh, we're jumping right into this first match. Uh, I'm your host, Mental Gym, today. Um, I'm, I'm going to be here just uh, commentating for you guys just today. Um, just doing it solo, just kicking it. Um, we're jumping right into the first match. We have, um, right currently in bracket, we have Sockham. He's fighting... Uh, excuse me. I'm sorry. We have Ludwaffle. Um, bra uh, it looks like a me fighter. A uh, very interesting decision here against the Puff, and Puff did recently get a lot of buffs. Um, it is trending on Twitter. It is really a thing. Um, it did happen. So just just so you know, uh, Puff is a menace out here to society and definitely doing some work here with these forward airs. Um, loot uh, choosing to go, I think, with a me brawler here. Oh my goodness, the sing, the forward smash, boom! All right, that's gonna net Puff a significant advantage here. Loot grabbing the ledge here. Nice, very nice with this up. Um, swift back airs. Yeah, it was, all right. We've got Stroder and Felix today. Uh, <laughs> we got we're just testing out the uh, just testing out the scoreboard currently. Uh, oh, nice! That bi bicycle kick is not going to take it up smash. Not going to quite take it yet. Two stocks of P sitting here on PS2. Very nice backer off the left side of the stage. Um, very nice. Now we have our we've got our true um, we got our true display right now. We got Waffle and uh, uh, Loot and uh, uh, his competitor. All right, cool, very much. We're just doing a little bit of uh, behind-the-scenes adjustments here. All right, very nice. Um, uh, thank you very much, audience, for being patient. All right, we're just getting a few things started. Um, the uh, contestants uh, today, uh, I don't think that we're aware of the uh, the, uh, the timing. That, that's all right. Uh, we, we do things on the on the fly here at the pilot program. That's all right. Uh, this is the pilot pro program number 31. I'm just in case you guys were wondering. Oh, very nice. Up Smash is going to take it there for game number one in favor of Loot. Rocking that very stylish looking me brawler. Very nice. That's one of the more unique outfits I've seen. That looks pretty cool. Um, I really like that. That's pretty nice. Um, wow, that's pretty cool. Anyway, so welcome. Uh, hello and welcome, as always, to the Power Program. This is number 31. Um, today we're going to be running a little different, trying out a few things. Um, so... Uh, stay tuned. Uh, we've got a lot of matches in store uh, today. We've got roughly, what, 20 or so contestants. Uh, we've got such names in the house like Yuri and um, we got Sukaro and Jinx is in the building as well. So today's going to be a fun time. Uh, I can't wait. There's a lot of uh, good stuff in store today for us. All right, here we go. Counter pick. Be back. Our oh, a counter pick here. Uh, looks like he's on uh, Tama City. Right here. Um, yeah. So far, Lu uh, doing a pretty good job racking up some significant damage here. Um, Puff is a very light character, so any sort of um, any sort of chip damage uh, uh, that you can tack onto this character is beneficial. Um, you, taking trades with Puff is usually a, is generally a good idea unless you're playing an equally light character. But Meat Brawler is no slouch. So as we see Lou doing uh, yet again with the up smash, um, very similar to Fox's up smash in terms of visual uh, design. Oh, drill rest. Oh, man, that's going to kill with the star KO. That's going to be safe. There we go. L Waffle taking the first stock in uh, game number two here. Nice backer. He's going to send the left side of the stage. Tries to edge guard with the shot put. The rollout, it's not a meme. He goes for the up B. Lou doing, Lou doing the best here. Nice backer, evening up the score two to two. Waffle loot, game number two. 2-2 two, two here on Smash Bros. Very nice. So in terms of this matchup, um, me Brawler, the Mies in general are a little bit underplayed. Um, in my opinion, they're quite strong, though. They have a lot of good things going for them. Um, but it definitely does... Uh, um, it's definitely one of the more uh, obscure matchups in the game. And Puff is, I mean, as you may know, Jigglypuff, and <laughs> there you go, Waffle dying off the top to an up smash. A little bit of a disrespect here, possibly, from Root there. A little friendly teabagging. All right, let's see if uh, Waffle can bring this back. Sitting at, right now at a one-stock deficit here. Pretty plain one-stock deficit. 
Uh, Puff doesn't. He, Puff has uh, the rest, which deals an immense amount of damage if you can land it, but uh, not so much a comeback character. So let's see if Waffle can put in the work. Oh, goes for the Sing again. Is he going to go for the rest of the Forge Smash? Goes for the rest. Very nice. No Star KO. Might get punished for it. Bear, it just narrowly avoids uh, uh, punishment there on the respawn. It's definitely something you, uh, Puff players have to look out for. All right, nice forward airs. I like that, I like that Lou is uh, choosing to challenge Puff's aerials. It's a little bit of a daunting task. Nice dive kick. That down B is going to challenge that leading. Uh, oh, nice back air. He's going to take it off the right side of the stage. Best of three. Game number two going to Lou, winning the set in our first match. Or, excuse me, first set of today, pilot program number 31. Uh, interesting choice. Uh, me, Brawler. Uh, versus a Jigglypuff. Interesting matchup. Um, although today is Monday, so you know you do see a lot of uh, different stuff here, especially at the beginning of the bracket. I look forward to seeing how Loot uh, chooses to develop this character specifically. Good show. All right. Just going to drink some water here. Let's take a look at these highlights here. So yeah, you can see here with the shot put, yeah, he goes for the rollout, but he gets hard called out um, with that back air from Loot. Um, you know, Me Brawler's aerial is pretty solid. Um, a few, that I guess you could say, that are of, of note are back air. Back air is pretty good, um, but in, in in overall, in general, the Me fighters typically have a pretty, um, shall I say, plain? Yeah, a pretty plain distribution of attributes and frame data. In general, there are some standout things, but it really depends on what loadout you choose to do and how you choose to play. Um, but yeah, the shot put, especially, you know, it's kind of like it reminds me a little bit of the axe, like Simon's Simon's and Richter's axe, um, but it's a little bit heavier. Uh, the trajectory is a little bit more st uh, stiff. So, no no shenanigans with that. Also, I think it go through the stage. Yeah, if I remember correctly, it does not go through the stage. All right, we, on our next match, we've got Helios and uh, Sockham coming up. You can see a Lucas and Luigi matchup. Um, just setting up our controls, but uh, uh, those of you in the audience, I'm sure um, many of you know who Sockham is, very renowned player. Um, uh, however, uh, Helios, um, he's, 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 up on, he's up and coming. Uh, I, I do think that um, Helios has a lot of potential, and I, uh, I'm, I'm looking forward to see what kind of promising... Um, content he will bring here, a type of development, I should say, because Luigi and both Luigi and Lucas are characters that really, they have a high skill ceiling, like you can play them at like a baseline level or you can choose to play them at a higher level. Um, and especially Lucas, Lucas with those Zare chains, with that those that snake, what is snake dashing, um, it's a little bit annoying, but you know, if you can do it, you can definitely do it. Um, and Luigi, of course, with those disgusting, absolutely heinous zero to deaths that are more akin to a war crime than anything else. Um, getting grabbed by Luigi at zero is a painful experience, to say the least. Um, I've seen many a meme on the on, on Instagram and uh, other platforms about you know getting grabbed by Luigi at zero. So let's see if uh, you know we might see we might be seeing a little bit of shenanigans today, or uh, you know the signature Luigi Shoryuken. Setting up the controls. All right, looks like we're ready to get into the second match of the day. We've got Helios rocking the Luigi in the Tasty Mint. Tasty Mint color, and we've got, as usual, we've got Sokka rocking that Lucas. The uh, orange pants. All right, heading into the second match, I'm going to... I'm expecting to see some aggression. One of these characters is going to want to take the lead immediately. Let's see who it is. All right, neutral air, fighting for neutral. There you go. We already see. Uh, there we go. We already see Helios using his grab to try and uh, dominate the neutral, just trying to get uh, a zero, maybe possibly a zero death and a large chain started. Very nice down tilt uh, forward smash there. So far, still just feeling each other out. Nice back air, neutral air. Nice goes for the up air juggle. Doesn't connect. Yeah, 
Yeah, Lucas has some absolutely massive hitboxes um, that... Oh, there you go. There's the Snake Dash. He's got some massive hitboxes that are generally annoying to deal with, especially on the ledge. Oh, there we go. Nice down air back here. Helio sitting at a little bit of, a little bit of a disadvantage here at 117. Um, one throw from Lucas could seal the deal here on the first stock. Nice dash attack. All right, what's the move? He goes for the he goes for the plunger edge guard. It's hard punish there. Called out with the forward tilt. Yeah, that there's the, there's a the down smash. That down smash has a massive hitbox. There we go. Dash attack is going to seal it out. Death of 160 something. Right side of the stage. All right, let's see. Nice using Zero to get back to the ledge. Misses that up smash. Goes for a read. Doesn't pan out. Nice using forward air to space. There, that Luigi Cyclone getting Helios out of trouble. Oh, up smash is going to seal the deal. There we go. All right, two stocks apiece, PS2. You know, it's average fair. Nothing surprising yet. I really like this. Uh, I really like this varied approach here from uh, from the Lucas player here, Helios. Nice, nice parry. Uh, nice. Oh, it gets the miss. It charges it up a little bit. Nice, fading back with this forward air. Doing a really good job of spacing. Always having a just a stray hitbox out to just check his opponent. Tries to go for the Cyclone. Okay, both players respecting each other's shield. Now, let's see. Rage utilization with, with Luigi is probably not the first thing that comes to mind. Uh, Luigi probably going to have to put in a little bit of work. There we go. Yeah, Lucas has numerous... I think he has two, uh, one or two, maybe even three kill throws. That's definitely one of them, so... You know, if you play, if you box with a Lucas player for too long, they might just run up and throw you. You gotta be wary of that. Very nice neutral air, forward air. Oh man, goes for the hard read with the forward smash. Again, trying to use the Luigi Cyclone. Luigi Cyclone is a powerful tool that, if used in the right context, can net you big damage and or a gimp. Oh no, no tech! Ouch, no tech. That's gonna cost him a stock. Back to square run, relatively even match. There. Forward air. All right, fades back. Very nice. I really like the aggression here from Sockham. Very nice. Absorbing that, just flexing on him. He doesn't really have too much damage on him anyways. Nice forward air. Going off stage and being a little bit full of the misfire. Yeah, Sockham right now is just in complete control of this match. This last stock is... He's doing very good at managing this. All right, nice down tilt uh, dash attack. Gain stage control. A nice 60, cool 60% here. All right, nice uh, RER back here. What's the move? Nice. Up smash, all right. Helio's making big strides to take this match back. Snap it from the jaws of death right there. Oh, nice. All right, PK Fire's gonna send him off stage to the right side. Chooses to edge guard. Ooh, hits himself. Okay, gets the PK Fire. The knockback will be enough. Sakum 16, takes game number one. Goodness. There we go. That's right, Magic Man with his Magic Man with his cool little magic powers on his fingers. Yeah, he goes for the uh, he goes for the, uh, uh, the steering into yourself. It always looks cool when you land that. Unfortunately, he did, it, but that's okay because he was able to seal it out with the uh, wave bounce side B. Uh, Lucas's side B is a little different than Ness's, so it does knock back instead of trapping an opponent in place. Regardless, we are on to game number two. These uh, first sets are best of three. So, Sockham looking here to uh, win this set if he wins this game. We're on here on small battlefields. Uh, one of the newest stages, apart from small bastion, to be in this rule set. There we go. Hefty damage there stocking up from Helios. Very nice. He's got a lot of uh, a lot of stuff he can work with. Very nice. 105% dash attack. Hasn't even been 20 seconds yet, and Helios looking to take the first stock. Man, he's throwing these dash attacks out like they're water. Sockham out here responding with his own aggression. Forward air, very nice. Fading back with the uh, wave bound side B. He says, I dare you. Come up on this ledge, boy. 
I dare you. Yeah, that is unsafe from the shield. He's going to get Plumber's Rump. Nice parry into up smash. Very nice. He parries that getup attack. Netting Helios a nice stock lead here. The second game. There we go. Oh, here we go. Luigi combos, baby. All right. He falls out of it, though. Still going to get 38% from the encounter. It was real deep there as a, uh, as a precaution. More dash attacks. Very nice. Uh, B reverse off the platform. Nice parry. Helios really showing some extra aggression this match. Just trying to even out the score a little bit. Goes for the side B on stage. He's going to get thrown off stage. That up B. All right, very nice combo. The neutral B fireball into dash attack. He's really trying to take on um, stage control here. In addition to his stock lead, he's lapping, just about to lap Sockham here with this. Uh, all right, just as I say that, Sockham takes it with yet another uh, side B. Very nice. So Kidio uh, is looking at around 100% extra uh, extra credit, going for that misfire. Somewhat of a risky move, but hey, you know you got to spend money to make money. Oh no, eating this large string off stage. Uh oh. Nice, up he's out of it. Uh oh, eats the down air. No, okay. Ah, uh, goes for the Luigi Cyclone. That was a very dangerous situation for both players off stage there. I really like Sockman's response to that dash attack there. He's been doing, um, making it more of a habit. All right, that Luigi Cyclone's not going to kill with excellent DI. We DI that. Nice dash attack. That will kill on the left side. There we go. Kilio sitting up a very nice one stock lead. Choose 2-1. Two, two, in number two. And just as I say that yet again, he closes it out. Sockham with a uh, wave bounce side B there. This match is completely even despite both uh, players' uh, despite both players' efforts to dominate the match in the neutral. Yeah, Kilio's playing way more forward now. Very nice. Up tilt. Up air. Goodness. He's just throwing the kitchen sink at him. Sockham responding with his own PK fire. Nice little bit of counter zoning, counter poking. Oh, there we go. He's going to block that and do the trademark Luigi Shoryuken. Helios is going to fight back and take game number two. We're going to go to game number three here. Very nice. Very convincing performance there from Helios. Yeah, that um, these getup attacks... Uh, when you shield them, this is this is a unanimous mechanic. This is universal across the entire cast. When you, if you shield, uh, you know, or even parry a getup attack, you will get punished for for doing it. So be sure to, you know, only do that when it lands. Or I'm, I'm make sure it lands. Excuse me. No one, no one here has ESP. All right, here we we're gonna run it back to small battlefield for game number three. Very nice. Yeah, I, I, I still, I still, I'm really enjoying this, uh, this really elegant spacing here from Sockham with his forward airs and this, the snake, and the, and the side bees. It's really a great way to stay safe and take up a lot of space. Meanwhile, Helios is out here trying to do a little bit of a guile cosplay with these up airs. Nice grab, down throw. All right. Helios was just, he was investigating there just where exactly Sockham would go, just trying to find out a habit. Nice, he's gimping him here. Nice with the, with the little down tilt. Nice, okay. Doesn't tech it, rolls right into the PK fire. Four tilt, all right, he's gonna go for the freeze and the thunder. Oh no, three of these. Uh-oh, PK fire off the side. Luigi's in a predicament. Okay, he's gonna have to side B yet again. Twice, no jump. Ah, uh, and he falls to his death. All right, Sockham here with a very slight lead here. I try to, will he try to run away and maybe perhaps get some chip damage on here? Or maybe we'll try to start a big combo. Okay. All right, more spacing. I like this back and forth gameplay here from Sockham. Yeah, so far in this set, Sockham... Oh, nice. See, there we go. Helios punish, punishing Sockham's habit of that getup attack there at the ledge with the nice parry this time, not just shielded. Parried into that up B. Very nice. Or the up, uh, up smash. Here we go, Nair. Helios has been doing a really good job in the set of trying to start chain. He's been starting strings um, with a lot of different moves like fair, up air, um, neutral air, um, and dash attack even too. And, and neutral B as well. So it's a sign of a very good Luigi player if you can convert off of 
um, many different types of hits instead of just grab. All right. Dokken playing a little bit on the platforms. Nice B reverse with that. Oh, uh, he's going to chase him far off stage with that PK Thunder. He's not going to find its mark. Nice back air. Okay, slides off the platform. Almost gets the freeze. All right, nice tick, nice tick grab there. You don't see that a lot in this game. Nice forward air, nice spacing. All right, it's using down to a little bit, trying to murk the ledge. Oh, nice. Man, punish him for jumping. All of a sudden, Sockham is staring down the barrel of the gun. Ever so slightly. Uh, he goes for that down smash. And the up smash. Helios waits there very patiently. Goes for three fares, racks up around 30%. Let's see how much extra credit he can get. His lead right now that he can push will be crucial to the outcome of this match. Nice DI. He probably has one more uh, hit in him that he can take before he dies. Nice parry. Okay, there we go. Forward air. All right, game number three, last stock situation, ladies and gentlemen. Dash attack. Yet again, using the plungers. Yeah, I like this. I still, I, I still think it's phenomenal. Nice forward air pressure. Ooh, platform conversions. Hello, Helios. How are you doing? All right, let's see a ledge situation. Just much like what we saw already. Oh, he parries it, looking for the same setup. Uh oh, is he gonna get gimped? Nope, he has a jump. Okay, goes low. Oh, no Luigi Cyclone. This is dangerous. Uh oh, goes for the two frame. This is dangerous territory here for both Sockham and Helios. One strong hit from either player will really be the end of the match here. Back throw? Not gonna kill. What's the move here, Helios? What are you gonna do? Down smash? Nope, okay. Man, this is, this is tense. Dash attack, not gonna take it, not strong enough. All right, looking for a Gimp. Is he gonna go off? Nice backer, staying safe. Uh-oh, stage is returned to neutral. No freeze, forward air is not gonna take it out. Oh, this is close. Uh-oh, oh my goodness. Nice drop down forward air. Uh-oh, does he have a jump? Okay, good. And the down smash from Sockham is going to take it on the ledge. Very nice. Sockham takes, just runs away with the set. Narrowly defeating Helios in a 2-1 victory. That was, that was intense. As I said before, uh, Lucas has generous hitboxes on his smash attacks. Look at that. It's the size of, it's the size of like one and a half Lucas's. It's massive. Nevertheless, learning how to use your character's tools to its full potential, um, in a, in a clutch moment is uh, what separates the, the kings from the peasants. Uh, uh, regardless, very nice performances from both players today um, as we await the third match of the day. Very nice. Looks like Sakum will be going on to fight um, Reborn there. Very nice. All uh, right. Oh, really? All right, looks like we've got Tomo versus Cheadle coming up. Both upset in round ones. Uh, we were set for a very spicy match here. Um, may sound cheesy, but I'm looking for a... Definitely looking for a spicy match. Maybe some fiery, fiery gameplay coming up. All right. Yeah, it looks like uh, Cheadle was able to uh, was able to beat uh, Free Skins and Camo. Wow, upset upset Swiga. Interesting. He upset Swiga in his first match. So we're gonna have a little bit of a showdown coming up here. Ah, uh, Fusky, you missed the protagonist. So sad. It's all right, bro. We got we got more matches to come, bro. Don't worry about it. The hero's journey, as my friend Jacob film student once said. Jacob, if you're out there, uh, miss you, buddy. Anyways, just setting up some extra controls here, the usual. Um, most players don't have rumble on, and they don't really have tap jump on. 
There are some exceptions. Um, for example, most people have Tilt Stick. Some people, if you play Olimar, maybe you do Smash Stick. Shout out to all seven Olimar players. Uh, yeah, I don't got too much else to say about that one. All right, let's see if we have a nice name here. Fancy name? No, just Tamo. Not bad, not bad. So yeah, Tamo upsetting Swigga round one. That's uh, it's pretty interesting. I'm uh, very curious to see what kind of gameplay we're gonna see here. Um. <laughs> Moose and God, he's talking about me. <laughs> uh, really? You guys are too much. Anyway, we out here. We waiting here for round, round number three. Game number three. Pallet program number 31 is turning out to be a good one. Pokemon Stadium 2, the only map in the game, goes by many names. I like to call the White House Lawn or the Pool Table because, you know, it looks like a pool table. Nice. Cheeto Rock and the Wolf and Tamo going to come out here with the Aegis or the Aegis, depending on if you play Xenoblade or not. Regardless, uh, very tasteful brown wolf color and uh, the classic mint color here coming out. All right. Um, all right. So, yeah, Cheeto looking like he's probably going to go some aggressive rushdown wolf gameplay. Um, standard wolf fare. Um, huh, that was not a pun. Uh, uh, the, the bad side be on stage. A little bit of a bold move there from Tamo, already accruing 84%. Um, let's see if he's got he's he has enough uh, de dexterity there to pay it off, pay the debt off again. Again, interesting option. I'm not sure if this is a new tactic or maybe a misinput or something. But okay, no tech gets the dash attack, gets the football punch. Cheetle, what's the move? He's just gonna let it. All right, gonna let it go. Tries for the up smash. Let's see. Nice. Okay, he blocks the get up attack, only partially. Rolls in. Oh, nice spot dodge. Cheetle here with the moves. Weak there. Yeah, that's going to be it. Nice. Cheetle's going to take the first stock there from Tamo. Yeah, this is dangerous territory already, though. Pyra's sword is uh, a bloodthirsty sword, to put it very bluntly. Forward smash or forward tilt someone at any sort of... Oh, nice. Weak there. Oh, my goodness. These platform extensions. That was a war crime. Absolutely heinous combos coming out here from Cheetle. Now I understand what the upsets were about. Nice back here. Wow, destruction coming out. Cheeto, Cheeto with three stocks to Tamo one. This is, wow, this is amazing. All right, Blazing Edge gets hit in with the Blazing Edge there. Nice forward air. Landing up there is not going to hit. Tamo's just trying to find his footing here. He says, whoa there, Cowboy, slow down, bro. Uh, goes for the up B in the wrong direction. Nice down throw. He's not going to close it out yet. Any stray aerial from Tama will take the stock. Nice. Shield grabbing. Oh my goodness. Nice spot dodge. Shield grabbing this game does suck pretty bad. If I do say so myself. It's not It's not the best thing in this game. We've got better options. Oh my goodness. Fair. Fall through fair to side B. Cheetle just showing us. All right. Showing us that Wolf can indeed die at 160 there. He is not invincible, however, he is on a rampage. That was very impressive here. He's, uh, is he playing Wolf Bingo? Oh man, Cheetle taking it in a two-stock victory. Very quick game over Tamo. Absolutely outstanding performance there. Wow. So that was that was a robbery. Or not no, nah, that wasn't necessarily a robbery. That was more of a that was a that was a train, man. Dang, bro. It's hard to stop a train, it's hard to stop a wolf. That's hungry for vengeance. Ouch. Yeah, Cheetle just displaying his skills. He obviously has a lot of... Uh, he's very in tune with his character. He has become one with the wolf. One with the edge, with the eye patch. Oh, we've got a counter pick here. we got a swap to Sora, potentially. Uh, all right, we're looking for the... All right, we're not playing the, the uh, black and white Sora. We're instead playing the red and black... The, the Drip Sora. We've got a, uh, we've got a counter pick stage here. Very nice, Phantom City. Um, let's see if Sora will fare any more any better here. Because he is a light character, but he did come out and he is somewhat meta right now, just because of how he knew he is. 
Oh my goodness, nice four hit combo there from Cheeto coming out. Goes for okay, nice. Up B is gonna is gonna trump that uh two frame attempt. On stage side B, yep, it does have the auto tracking feature. With that, alright, a little bit of flamethrower by Raga there. Thundog on deck, let's see what he can do. Thunder coming out. Cheeto's not having any of that. More forward airs. Okay, whiffs that on the shields. Let's see, he's gonna have a difficult time coming back to stage. Nope, missed is the dare. Get up attack. Both, both players sitting at relatively even percents right now. All right, landing there on shield is unsafe. Gonna get thrown, back thrown. Just fishing for down tilts there. Oh, nice swift back air is gonna take out stock number one of Tama, leading Cheetle. Uh, just a little bit. Nice down throw, dash attack, standard stuff. All right, a little bit of respect. Cheetle being very generous with that shielding there. Rolling right into that dash attack. Waste, uh, cycling through that Blizzaka to get getting to the fire. Already accrued a little bit of 40% extra credit here. He has not taken a hit since his last stock. Very nice down throw. All right, gets the back hit of down smash. Goes for the blast guard for damage. Came over recovering successfully on his stage unharmed. Tamo's gonna have to make some uh, quick strides here to take out this this first stock here if he wants to stay in uh, stay in the game here. Four throws not gonna kill. <clears throat> Thunder air dodges back on the stage. Nice. Forward air gonna take it there at 170. All right, Cheetle racked up around 188 extra percent extra credit. That football pine's gonna do him in. Nice shield pressure goes for the forward smash. Tamo just trying to find some footing. Trying to find a chink in the armor here. Cheeto playing a very solid wolf. Nice. Scoops him up with the up smash. Very nice. 2-1. Stock advantage here in favor of Cheeto just showing off with some back ears. So Tamo's going to have to uh, bring it back hard here. Forward tilt. Very nice. Okay. Not technically, technically safe on shield if you space it, but as you saw there, you can chase him down if you know which direction he's going. Nice spot dodge. No grabbing. Get your hands off me, he says. They're back there off the screen. Oh, uh, some funky physics going on there with the up B. Down throw. Oh my goodness, goes for the hard read and it pays off. Cheetle 2 owing Tamo in a very swift game three. Third, uh, excuse me, uh, third set here of, of uh, outperform number 31 today. Wow. No wonder. That was a very convincing and very dominant performance by Cheetle. Um, Tamo showing some um, signs of improvement, however, um, just getting absolutely run over there by... Or there's that funny moment. There we go. Send that to BSD. Uh, uh, Smash review happened today, so maybe it'll make next week. Anyway, yeah, Cheetle going in hard there for that hard read. Just not even running, just walking up and down smashing. Bro, did he just walk up and down smash? I think he did, from the wise words of Bobby Scar. I think he did. All right, we got Pog and Cool Pool coming up. Cog, yeah, Cog and Cool Pool. Um, yeah, Cog and Cool Pool using Leak Speak. Really have it. Daddy, Cool Pool is up. All right, Cool Pool, we got a fan in the chat. Uh, Don Cheetle Needle. <laughs> you guys keep me sane. All right, we're still waiting for this fourth set to unfold. We're about to get started. We're about to get started here. Although I do think we do have a visitor. Yeah, bro. What's up, bro? <laughs> yeah, man. <laughs> what's up bro what's up bro we got 
we got an on we got an on site uh, we got an on site cameo from Taco. Say hi, Taco. What's going on, boys? <laughs> How you doing there? How, how's the crowd looking? Oh, definitely. Yeah, no, I gotta tell you, definitely, man. Yeah, that was an L. That's all right. L's can't get L's can stand for learn. That's all right. Um, let's see. We've yeah, yeah. You know what? Let's get let's get on the ground. We got some fields. We got some fields. Fox. Yeah, man, we got that. We got that box. Oh, you know, Taco. You know, Taco. We got a. Yeah, it's. I think the Fox pick is significant. Uh, DD just won a major tournament with Fox. It was kind of an upset. You know, so I mean, Fox. Fox players getting a little bit of hope. You know, still in the spotlight from Wolf a little bit. Uh, Steve Fox, um, not the Tekken character, <laughs> um, not the Tekken character, the matchup, um, this, uh, this is a very volatile matchup in my opinion, it really depends on the player, um, I mean, cause Steve is gonna, you know, this, the central core part of his gameplay is mining for resources, and, you know, he needs a quick, he needs a hot minute to get stocked up on, on the good boy points and the goodies, right? And if, you know, if you've got a Fox player that just doesn't get, doesn't let him get away with that, and just constantly applies pressure with these up airs and you know what have you then it's going to be difficult uh for steve but steve does have a, a plethora of really good um aerials um and especially uh uh Airy, that move is really really good um for both stalling Yeah, that's right. Don't be afraid if you're a Fox player or any player, if you're going against Steve, don't be afraid to challenge his blocks. Uh, go into the lab and learn which uh, which moves and uh, and uh, which moves can uh, destroy the blocks, and, and if you if your character can or cannot go underneath one block. Ooh. Oh, I didn't know that. My bad. Oh, my bad. I thought my colleague was on the stream. It's all right. We just got a little bit of on the ground commentary. I apologize. Oh, we've got, <laughs> we've got, we've got a call pool. I apologize for the, uh, for the, a little bit of inconsistency there, ladies and gentlemen. We've got, a, we're having a little bit of fun, a little bit of tomfoolery. Uh, thank you very much for your cameo, Taco. Uh, we'll see you. We'll see you soon, bro. Anyway, we've got we've got Cog and Pool Pool just absolutely swinging fist. Um, pool Pool definitely uh, okay. There, there we go. Taking taking back the control of the match. There are two stocks apiece. He does have a diamond. Just crafted some slick new diamond tools. Um, he's really yearning to ask Cog if he likes his diamond sword or not. One of my favorite videos from 2012. Um, really seems like ages ago. Um, anyways, uh, still pretty pretty uh, similar percentages here. Not necessarily any advantage to either player at the moment. Um, we do have Cog with these aggressive plays, these up airs though. Uh, Callpool doing some interesting setups with up B on stage, trying to slide under some attacks possibly. Because um, Steve does have a, have some good options to kind of wall out his opponents. Literally, very nice down air into up smash. That is a tight, that is a very tight combo, but it is possible. Um, Cog gaining a, a significant lead here. Um, in the, this uh, first game. Nice. Down air. Okay, he's gonna have to go for the Firefox. He didn't mangle, he didn't have to mangle the upbeat. Nice. Alright. Oh, uh, that was an interesting trade there. I think that was a down tilt trade with, um, some of Steve's moves. It was hard to tell. Alright, yeah, um, couple really running out of resources here. He's, uh, the bank is, the Federal Reserve is looking pretty empty at the moment. Um, it's a very good situation here for Cog. He's gonna be able to get some Relatively free pressure. All right, helpful. Finally, finding an, uh, an, an opening here to Ryan for some resources. Um, Cog just aiming for some chip damage there, challenging those blocks there. 
Going for that nice, nice back air there. All right, Culpool just going to find a little bit more. He's going to find some gold in the uh, California Basin there. All right, weak Nair. No forward air combos. Yeah, there we go. That's the menace of society. They're the side B. It's a command grab and a hit at the beginning. It's kind of... It's, it's definitely something there. All right, down throw. No mob grinder combo. Once again, Culpable find, finds himself off stage with very little resources. He cannot block off. Just going to stay on the ledge. Be very patient. Four throw. <clears throat> going to go for that. Okay, he's going to hit by that up air, and Cog is going to take game number one. Very nice. Like I said, matchup. This match is very volatile. It can go either way. Bounce back and forth occasionally. Just depends on the players and their play styles. Very dominating performance there. Um, really showing the fundamentals of Fox, uh, the gameplay there, um, and, and uh, um, some very unique tools that Fox has in order to challenge Steve's um, very unique play style and his mechanics that are inherent to his character. Uh, challenge, basically, just challenge the blocks when you can. You know, it looks, it looks like we got to switch to Pac-Man, so just a, a lateral jump from one resource character to another. I'm gonna be rocking the the blue armbands. Yeah, the, uh, the blue. Yeah, it's it's a little funny how Pac-Man's overall design doesn't change too much. I I, I personally am fond of the the Betty Crocker Pac-Man, but that's neither here nor there. Um. All right, Pac-Man does have a stellar recovery where Steve's is unique but questionable. Pac-Man's is um also unique but not really that questionable. Um, I, I, I have a fair amount of confidence we're going to see some shenanigans coming out from Pac-Man and his, uh, or from Bubble and his Hydrant gameplay. Nice, uh, nice reflector, although, let's keep in mind, Cog does have a reflector and will be able to reflect those items. Very nice, weak Nair. Oh my goodness, that block. That was, that was a heinous combo there. Very nice. Might have to look at that replay. That was, that was some solid stuff there, bro. Alright, no strawberry, goes for the down air. No grab. Okay, looks for the tech chains down there into the up smash. Uh, Cog just sitting in place? He's just standing there, messingly. Alright, nice. He, he saw it. I am four parallel universes ahead of you, he said. He saw that bell play a mile away. Dodges the orange. Alright, looking for the back air. Hopefully, doing a good job of being patient here. Nearing out of shield. Charging up his fruit. Nice, gets the second time there, second time to charm. Alright, dash attack and a combo started. Alright, he's Galaxian combos and the Galaxian flies away. He's not gonna be able to use it. Oh, nearly dodges the fire hydrant there. This stage is uh got some moving platforms, it's definitely something. Uh, for both characters, uh, in my opinion, this matchup gets even more funky on this stage because of the different places Pac-Man can put his hydrant. Uh, the more places Pac-Man can set up uh, different things to control various parts of the screen, the more dangerous he is, in my opinion. Cog, nevertheless, still sitting here on a one-stock lead and a one-game lead in this set. Gonna get back, thrown off the stage, gonna recover high onto the platform. Alright, no options left to land. Nice. Drag down forward air. Jab lock. Nice. Looks for another forward air. He's not going to find it. All right. Couple is still looking for a way to charge his, his fruit and also maybe a kill confirm. Um, he's being very conservative, though, in the way he approaches here, mainly with a, a fruit and or a hydrant. There we go. That extended hitbox is going to clip Fox's foot. It's going to bring the stocks down to two, evening it up. All right. Uh oh, overextends there. Nice. Oh man, fire hydrant backfires on Culpool. Goes for the trampoline, the mappy trampoline. Nice weak nair to up smash. Up smash being Fox is one of one of Fox's staple kill confirms, arguably his best. Cog just out here showing us how it's done. Nice, nice. A very brazen play there from Cog with that forward smash. Up air, two up airs. Can we get a third? No, it's not needed. We've got a nice spicy forward tilt up, down tilt combo. All right, call proof. Uh, looking a uh, little had better days, a little worse for wear here. Um, he's gonna have to make something happen here. Um, he's out of resources. No key or no fruit in sight. 
Um, just uh, a few quick seconds, a few seconds of uh, of downtime will net him a comeback mechanic, though. And uh, it's not, you know, it's not a comeback mechanic. We'll net him a way uh, to find some progress, shall we, in the match. Yeah, I think he's playing a little too conservatively right now. Uh, Cog is taking advantage of that and just, he's fishing for up smashes. He's not being super willy-nilly about them, but he's definitely choosing the right time to do it. Not going to get punished for the roll-in. Nice, going to find the downer tech chase up smash. It's going to KO. With the screen splat, Cog's going to take a 2-0 over uh, Paul Poole there. Very nice. Very nice Mission Fox performance. Complete. Mission complete. This time in English. Nice roll in there. Doesn't get punished. Um, yeah, Paul Poole. There we go. Tech chase to the left. Nice. Up smash. Again, just some... Bread and butter Fox gameplay. You know, if it works, it works. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. Um, Fox is definitely one of those characters that if you put in the time and the work and the effort, you know, three things that do require a good amount of dedication, you will see results. Um, just a shout out. So persevere, you know. If you're if you're looking for a new character, I'd say maybe in the current meta, it's a little shifting a little bit towards a uh, little aggressive characters. Fox is seeing a little bit more of a resurgence in the pro community. So I'd say maybe, uh, you know, consider. Consider Fox. You know, don't count him out. Wolf is a great character, but Fox is equally... Uh, there's an argument to be made nowadays for Fox being a great Spacey as well. Um, Falco. Uh, Larry Lur is, is sitting right now in his armchair. He's thinking about his life decisions. Although, I do think he does enjoy playing all three spaces. All right. All right, so we've got some nice matches here lined up here. Uh, let's see. As we get ready for our next match, I'm just going to do a little bit of reconnaissance. All right, we're going to do some Reborn and Loot next on deck. Uh, loot, as we saw uh, the, on the first match, very nice. She's, she had a very nice um, performance there with uh, uh, quite a stylish custom me brawler there. Uh, perhaps it was her setup. Um, but that that blue-haired um, toxic, he says, loot. Oh, I've been informed that there's an entire ba uh, backstory around loot's me brawler. Um, you know that that's that's quite something. I'd like to uh, be informed on that. If anyone can come to clutch, if uh, they can give me an, an an abbreviated version, maybe an abridged Sephiroth. version. All right, we got loot versus reborn. We're gonna see a meat brawler action versus uh, uh, reborn rocking that uh, male fan service Sephiroth. That man has a very long katana, and he's not afraid to use it. All right, already starting out on PS2 here, already throwing out that shot put. Very nice. Okay, Sephiroth is a little light, so the Reborn might have to be a little bit more conscious than not of uh, of his percentages. Um, however, generally Reborn does have the uh, he does have the move set advantage and the versatility advantage um, in the sense that he has long-reaching moves and a mechanic. Uh, whereas the the me brawlers or the me brawler here loot rock and me brawler doesn't necessarily have such nice counter there's gonna he hefty amount of damage nice forward tilt could go for the shadow flare cover covering a lot of roll options or a lot of options including roll on stage uh oh wrong way he's gonna stick it in the stage I like reborn's use of complex recovery moves here nice back throw back air it catches din oh nice okay an early death there for loot. Reborn going to be taking the first stock with the wing still intact. Loot is not happy about that. All right, that raw up smash will be finding its mark, although the Shadow Flares do take effect, netting him a nice 39%. Nice up B out of shield. Okay. Nice. Okay, the flip kick and the spike uh, completely even percents here. Oh, okay. Reborn tempts loot with that all nearly fully charged neutral B there, but he, he, he cancels at the last moment. Back air, ba oh, there we go. Back throw, back air. Catches DI in. Very nice. Dashing on his shields. A little bit of disrespect, maybe? We'll see what happens. 
All right, whiffing that dodges away skillfully. All right, rolls in. No punish. All right, loot showing, uh, showing her use of some um, platform tech here. Nice back air. All right. Yeah, that up smash is not quite going to punish that. He did it close enough. Nice blade dash down. Yeah, there's some Sephiroth tech with blade dashing down through platforms and down onto stage. Something can be said for that. Nice. I really like his use of... um. Yep, there you go. Using the forward air to stick in the stage and getting out a shadow flare or a forward air. Forward throw. Going for the shot put. Covering two different angles. Nice up smash is going to be covering get up angle there. There we go. Nice back air. Immediately on respawn. Reborn taking the initiative. Forward air. Okay, is he going to let it rip? He lets it rip. Oh my goodness. And loot falls through that. 1-1 one, one here. Even, completely even. Game number one. Nice up B. Loot making uh, liberal use of this up B out of shield. It's a great option. Meanwhile, Reborn is trying uh, to cover different options on the platform. Third Rollins goes for the forward smash. He's going to get punished with the down throw. Nice back air. Nice. Okay, back throw, back air yet again. All right. Oh, tries to combo the shot put into the down B. All right, Reborn. Nice down air. Evening it up. All right, gonna go for the up smash, not quite gonna find it. Um, nice forward air. Okay, pressuring a ledge with a nice blue shadow player there. All right. Yeah, so far now these these both are gonna have to play um, a little safe. Since they, neither of them have a stock advantage, either of them could be at the mercy of the other in no time flat. Nice up smash, not gonna find the kill just yet. Very nice DI. We have, we DI that. Gonna upbeat a ledge. Loot showing mastery of the character. Nice fadeaway back here. That's going to take it. Reborn takes game number one by a hair. <laughs> I love the Sephiroth windscreen. That is so... It's so sinister. He just looks at the... He's like, bro, what you say about me, bro? I, I love the Sephiroth memes, too, about that. It's like, you know, when, when my house is on fire... When my house is 60% on fire, but I hear that... But I, I re remember that my body is 61% is water. When he walks into... Oh, we're going to choose the music. A little bit of a medley here. Night of Fate. We're going Night of Fate, small battlefield. Stop the battle. Nah. Me, Brawler, yet again. Loot rocking me, Brawler. Maybe we're going to see Sephiroth. a switch. Nope, we're going back to Sephiroth. Reborn sticking with the one-winged angel himself. Three. All right, here we are in small battlefield. Very similar to PS2. Um, this stage does not have a wall underneath it, so I don't think that'll be very applicable to these two characters specifically, but that is that is a difference. Nice up tilt. Nice loot already finding a hefty amount of percentage here. Um, uh, while I do admire Reborn's use of complex recovery moves, it is getting a little bit repetitive. Um, and, but loot has has yet to catch on and punish uh, his habits though, so hey, if it don't work, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. Very nice. The wing comes out. Reborn with that mechanic. There we go. Nice up. Uh oh, see, there we go. He's covering the angle. Maybe that'll discourage Reborn from using the same tactic again. Blade Dash is onto stage. That up B is going to be doing hefty amount of damage. To sit right now, not in Reborn's favor. Loot looking for an up B, maybe a back air, possibly an up smash. Very swift movements here. To, uh, loot. Okay, there we go. Up B. Showing a shot put. Gonna shield the Shadow Flares. The shield is at critical size right now, so a down smash from Rebirth or any sort of shield pressure might... Okay, there we go. Shield is renewed. Nice narrative shields. Reborn's gonna have to find a deep recovery from offstage. There we go. There we go. Blade dashing into loot. Very nice. All right. Nice little dance of death here coming out from both... Both characters, both trying to find a, a little bit of a deficit in the other's play style, a little chink in the armor. Nice, uses the counter to reflect it. Nice dash attack. Uh, Reborn's going to find the first stock, 141. Might be advantageous for him to stall here. <clears throat> up he's to ledge. Nice parry on the Shadow Flare. Nice up, up smash there, very nice. 2-2. Two, two. Back to square one, back to the drawing board. Jab, one, two, three, combo. Okay, missed, whiffs the grab. Interesting, goes for a 
I think that was supposed to be a knockdown into a jab reset. Up, he's out of shields. Up throw. What's the read? When Sephiroth does up throw, he's going to be looking for um, an air dodge and into a frame trap up air, maybe an up tilt or something. There's not really, there's there are no true follow ups with that. Right, air dodge read into the up smash. Doesn't find the mark. Oh, goes for the spike. Very nice. Reborn sitting in a nice advantage state here. All right, might just might just have to hang back a little bit and uh, pressure the neutral with that with the side B. Um, that was a risky play, but it did pay off. Reborn sitting here, um, looking to get some extra credit. Uh oh, gets bonked with that. Uh oh, that misstep. Back to square one. That lead is suddenly uh, thrown away in the garbage. Happens. Nice up, he had a shield yet again. So it is doing a nice job of eating up the percentage even now. Nice, very nice aggressive play here. Hands off my shield, she says. Nice forward throw. Looking for a, a jump read there? Covers jump, nice back there. Yeah, it feels like, I, I feel like loot is gonna be in favor of trading here. Sephiroth is a lighter character. Nice forward tilt. Although Sephiroth does have pretty good domain of the ledge. Nice back air. The reach. All right, up smash. And he has wing. Nice. This is 10. Reborn coming back, narrowly dodges the, the shot put. Sitting at 131, near out of shields. Shot put angle number one is not gonna do anything. Uh, loot maybe looking up for an up smash. Nice back air. Uh, he's gonna charge, he's gonna let it rip. He's gonna have to find something. Oh no, he uses the get up attack invincibility. It's not enough. And he eats the entire <laughs> bullet charge neutral B and reborn finds game number two to win the set. A very tense ending there. That does a lot of damage. Ah, yes. Very nice. Very nice performance from both players there. As Sephiroth disappears into the flames, we will see these two combatants disappear and be replaced by two new ones very shortly. Unfortunate. Yep. Why is this? Why is this random so pressed in Chad Lamau? Yeah, it's true. Does no one go to Monday anymore in Kidona? Yeah, I mean, we've got a good amount of turnout today. It's not as much as usual, but you know, uh, it was just Halloween recently, and you know, people do have, you know, they they've got some fun, but uh, you know, it's uh, you know, it, it's what separates the cream from you know, cream from the crop. That's what happens. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> and we've got some fans in the chat right now. What's up, Fusky? Uh, All right, here we go. Two new fresh faces coming to beat the ever-loving crap out of each other. All right, looks like we've got Isaac and Hime on deck. Let's see. A little bit of a readout here. Uh, let's see. Jinx beat DJ Red. So Jinx will be going up against Cheadle here. Reborn versus Loot. Be going on shortly. Uh, N2D and Cog will be happening. Isaac and Hime is what we're observing right now. All right, all right. All right, just choosing some names. How are you guys doing in the chat? <laughs> yeah, we've, we've been seeing a lot of different uh, characters today. No jokers yet, though. Um, uh, yeah, a lot of different characters. Uh, Loot's been going on a pretty good spree here with me, Brawler. Um, I'm interested to know the, the backstory of that, however. Um, perhaps if I do meet this contestant in real life, I will inquire within to see what exactly the the, uh, the funny story is. All right, Kime, Isaac, 
Let's get ready to brawl. Oh, interesting matchup. Game and Watch DDD. He may he may does is known generally for his DDD though. Game and Watch a stellar character all around, played by many people. Help you out of shield goes dummy dummy stupid. Um, DDD is dummy thick, and man does that hammer hit like a bus. Um, anyway, starting out here on PS2, a very standard stage pick here. Um, uh, DDD is a massive character that will get uh, juggled quite easily from Game and Watch. Um, so he may will have to be mi will have to mind his uh, have to mind his uh, uh, extra big frame, and uh, Isaac will do his best to take the, his, the best advantages he can of uh, his massive this massive size of this big fat penguin. Uh, I learned earlier that penguin in Chinese is actually business goose, and I think that's pretty funny. Uh, you know what's not funny? Isaac killing him off the side of the stage at not even. Not even heavy percents, just around 100 with that forward air. That was disgusting. Nice back air, falling back there from Kime. Kime does is uh, he is sitting at a stock disadvantage right now, um, but it's it's still game number one. You know, uh, you know the kill power of uh, DDD is not to be underestimated, especially with Gordo. And uh, Game and Watch, you know, it, it swings both ways. Game and Watch is pretty light. He's got a great combo game, but he's pretty light. You know, little beat boot man versus giant fat penguin. All right, gets the inhale. Uh, nice reflector there. Gonna go for the slow Gordo pressure on the ledge. Uh oh. Yeah, that's the, uh, one thing about DDD is you can turn his own Gordos against him. Nice up tilt. Not gonna kill yet. Isaac's got some superb DI. Up B, nice snare. All right, nice up B goes underneath the Gordo. <clears throat> How does he may choose to land? There we go. He's gonna eat another forward air. Isaac just about lapping him in percentages. Gonna survive that Gordo hit. Uh, Game and Watch, don't really like her to uh, living to 147 right now. Nice. I was gonna reflect it with the with the bacon. A good old home style breakfast. Uh, all right, he's gonna finally eat that Gordo. Even after the stock count, he may sitting at 129. Remember, uh, if this thing is gonna wait at the platform a little bit. Remember, uh, heavies with rage is a sight to behold. So I do not put it far from he may to. Start doing some uh, funny plays. Nice Gordo. No judge. Uh oh. There we go. We got Isaac starting to challenge the Gordos with his own moves. Nice. The chair. He said, Have a seat, my man. Have a seat, my man. Nice. Neutral air. Goes for the up air jungles. Neutral air. Another neutral air. A third neutral air. Nice. And netted him 56%. He may is going to respond with a fancy looking back air. Another inhale. He may is pretty good at getting that. Pretty consistent. Nice down tilt. And then control the ledge. Responds by reflecting the reflected Gordo with his forward tilt. Not looking good off stage for Isaac. <clears throat> that dash attack takes forever to recover. Man. Oh, man. Uh oh. Batting back the Gordo. Isaac fighting back. Uh oh, goes for the goes for the inhale. Gets upbeat again. Nice forward air. It's gonna take it. One one. He may is sitting near near at 100. percent Uh oh, Barry forward smash. That's it. Yep, that's gonna take it. Nice. Isaac takes it. Game number one over. He may and his big fat penguin DDD. Yeah, Game and Watch is really a character of. He's got a lot of excellent tools. Um, Uppy goes as previously mentioned. Uh, up he goes dummy, stupid, and down smash. If you land a down smash, you're basically guaranteed a forward smash, so it's like two smash attacks in one, because it varies. So and it can heal even it can kill even the heaviest characters like DDD. He's definitely up there in terms of weight. Uh, looks like we're running it right back. No character changes. Um, on the game number two. Relatively fast game number one. Uh, interesting. First time today we're seeing Kalos come out. Come out of uh, of come out of the, the cave. Um, we don't see the stage too much, but uh, you know, nonetheless, it's a joy to see at uh, any time it is on screen. Nice inhale. Uh, it's still more of the same here. He may trying to pressure with Gordo. Isaac, nice up air to up B. Yeah, using the pancakes preemptively. Yeah, there's a lot going on here. It's a rather fast-paced match so far. Going for that key. Uh-oh, up B out of shield. There we go, up air combos. If you're Isaac, you definitely have a lot to aim at. Uh, if you're He-Man, you've got a small target, but man, if you do land your punches, dude, does it hurt. Alright, gonna be running away. Nice forward tilt pressure. He's gonna get up thrown for that. 
more Gordo, Gordo stuff. He's going to sit on him. Now he's going to armor through that bacon. Nice parry and the footstool. No punish. Okay, going to land on the platform safely. That's the thing about Kalos. These platforms are in a kind of an interesting, kind of an awkward position. It's kind of almost off stage, it's like right above the ledge a fair bit. Regardless, both players still sitting at three stocks. He might be living, you know, he's a heavyweight. He's going to be living longer. Isaac at roughly at 100% here. No punish there from that key. Forward air. Isaac's looking for another forward air and seal the deal here. It says have a seat. His chair is broken. He needs to upgrade his chair. Nice forward tilt. Uh-oh. Yeah, Isaac, uh, excuse me, he might be just looking for a way to steal this out. Nice parry. Shield's getting mighty small here. Interesting plank. 172. He's not dead yet. That Gordo's going to stay on screen for a long time, and the Gordo's just going to connect with Isaac. Not going to kill him just yet, though. Both players sitting, living a <clears throat> mighty long time. Very slow Gordo. He batted away. Nice landing back there. Kime is finally going to take the first stock. He's got a long though. See what this fat penguin can do. Boom, boom. Okay, the jab is going to set him far back enough. He won't, probably won't be able to punish him too much. He's going to go for a grab. He's going to trade. Uh, nice, Gordo. He may living almost nearly to 200 now, sitting on a nice 72% extra credit. Has full rage. See if he can utilize it. Are doing a nice job. Oh, nice. That does kill. Very nice. He made three to one. Stocks. All right. Have a seat, he says. He may is going to have to take another seat. Sit down a little, chill out for a little bit while he contemplates how he lost that first stock. Nice. Interesting throw into the Gordo. I haven't seen that one before. Up tilt. Up there. More, go more Gordo. Oh, and the belly flop. Nice. He tried that game one. And it did pan out, but I'm glad to see him try it again. And this time it did work. Second time's a charm. Nice. Kime is going to take game number two. Um, that the first stock lasted a pretty long time, but after that it was all it was kind of all downhill there for. I